open it up in three two it's gonna be massive what let's go oh my god oh my days look at this shit Yo ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be creating a very interesting topic. I know you're very curious on what actually I showed at the intro of this video. But today we are going to be creating electricity using water. Yeah, in other words, we are going to be experimenting on hydroelectric power energy. Yeah, we are going to be experimenting on the hydroelectric energy and let's see if we can actually generate electricity using water flow yeah it's very simple and it's also some kind of major electricity in some countries like electricity production in some countries and that is what we're going to be doing today i got a comment from maximus nation which actually gave me the idea to create this project so i thought of it took some time but anyways here's the video so i hope you see it and uh i kept your promise let's dive in now in creating a hydro or exp experimenting a hydroelectric energy, we need a motor. Yeah, normally a motor is very important. Now I'm just gonna make brief explanations on the industrial hydroelectric power supply and how it actually works. So let's go to that. Now this is actually called the Kanji Dam. Yeah, I we have actually have a Kanji Dam in Nigeria actually. I got some ideas that is actually in Nigeria around Enugu state and it's kind of part of our electricity supply in uh, Nigeria but normally I also got some kind of ideas that the main power source of our the main uh, power source is actually gas yeah we are actually using gas to create electricity but by yeah that's by the way what we're actually talking about is how this actually works now this is very simple a motor is placed close to a waterfall with a propeller when the water flows through the propeller the propeller turns the motor thereby generating electricity we all know a motor it can be a motor or a rotor or any kind of rotor which is going to generate electricity when there is a rotational movement yeah this is very simple you can use a normal dc motor to practicalize this experiment like i using a 12 volt dc motor in this video which i'm actually using to experiment it and yeah now this is how it actually works when the rotational movement is caused in this motor this motor generates electricity thereby powering any appliances which is connecting the input side of the motor it is just like you need electricity to power the motor for the motor to turn and if you turn the motor it's gonna generate electric electricity for you this is kind of reverse if you if you schedule it in your brains you need electricity to power the motor up to turn for you like you need electricity to power the motor for it to rotate so thereby if you rotate the motor if you rotate the motor it is going to generate electricity for you this is kind of reverse i don't know if you understand it if you don't let me know in the comment section below and i will try to explain it more for you but anyways this is how basically it actually works when this rotational movement is created and generated or generated in the motor it creates electricity for you which is kind of free energy but it's really not free energy because it needs the motor to turn for it to generate electricity for you so in this rotational experiment we need to rotate the motor for it to generate electricity for us thereby in these industries they also use water flow for for yeah i'm i'm sorry waterfall yeah this is very very strong waterfall all over some kind of oceans yeah they're coming from kind of oceans which actually turns a very big propeller which they actually placed and uh, that propeller turns the rotor which is actually attached right there and generates electricity for them that is the same experiment which i'm going to be doing in this video i'm going to be creating a propeller which is going to be turning a motor then i'm going to be using a lady waterfall which i'm actually going to be creating to turn the motor and generate electricity for us so without wasting much time let's start and uh, let's dive into the video subscribe and you know what to do like the video and without wasting much time i'm going to be listening the path which you're going to be using in this video now first off we're going to be using a motor yeah as i mentioned earlier we need a motor for us to generate electricity out of it and also we're going to be using a propeller yeah this propeller is going to receive the waterfall and uh, actually create the uh, 
rotational movement to the motor thereby creating electricity and also we are going to be leading a led yeah we're going to be connecting a led at, out, at the output of the motor so that we can see if the motor actually generates electricity and also we're going to be testing other equipment and see if the motor can power it up without wasting much time let's dive into the video and let's dive into the experiment side now in creating this hydroelectric power supply we are going to be standing the motor upright yeah we're going to be using some kind of pipe to cut we're going to be cutting some kind of pipe to a medium size uh, length to stand the motor up and by the way actually use the hot glue gum to gum everything up and make everything perfect so we're going to be gumming some kind of half pipe to raise the motor up for it to receive the waterfall and we're going to be gumming it into a rubber so that some of the water will not be wasted and we can get the water back and maybe put it back because we don't have a pump which actually sucks the water back to where it's coming from so we are going to be storing the water into this rubber so that we can be able to store the water that is actually splashing out and we're going put it back into the drum to actually continue the water flow perfectly okay now first off you're gonna be testing out with this propeller yeah this propeller is really really I got it from a 12 volt AC motor actually a 12 volt brushless motor so we are gonna be testing it out and uh, let's see if this actually works now firstly we're gonna be testing it out with the pump yeah you can see we are going to be using these 100 liters drum to actually create the waterfall for us yeah yep we don't actually have a river big river to create a water flow fall for us or we cannot just go to a river or to go to a water flow that is extremely dangerous do not try that we can just use a simple 100 liters of drum then uh, which is going to be creating a waterfall for us as there's an opening down right there which is controlled by this valve and uh, we're gonna we're just gonna open the valve to create a waterfall for us then we're gonna be like testing it out and see if we can generate any electricity from it but firstly we are gonna be testing it out with the valve and see if it actually turns the motor if it actually didn't turn the motor we are gonna be removing this valve to create more pressure and to allow more water to flow if we can create more pressure and turn the motor and uh, at least create electricity at the output of the motor to turn or to turn on a little of something so let's test it out with this first propeller which I actually showed you in the beginning okay guys welcome back and uh time for testing and experimenting and uh yeah experimenting okay now you can see the setup this is the setup i Make some kind of pipe right here which i solely said in the intro of the video you can see the motor is actually 12 volt motor which i'm using and i'm going to test it out with this first propeller which i talked about and uh you can see the 1.5 volt uh, lead which i'm using and yeah this is what the fan is going to be powering so let's set it up i put it in this kind of basin and rubber so that uh, it can the water is not going to waste away when i get to when the water splash it's going to be going into the rubber then i'm going to it into the drum back you know i don't have any automatic automatic pump that's going to be pumping the water back so i just want to save the water then put it back in the drum when the drum water is uh empty here okay, this is the pump uh, let's get to it okay now first up i'm going to be testing with the pump head yeah i know uh this uh pump is not really don't really have a, a good force but i'm going to be testing it out first and uh, i'm going to be testing with the pump head then if i really need more force i'm going to be removing the pump head and i'm just going to be salvaging the full water which is coming out from the drum which is we should have more force and uh more torque to turn my proper load but first off let's just test it out this is how the pump actually releases water this is the strength of it you can see not that strong though but uh, still, uh, it still, it still has some kind of uh, a little bit torque. So uh, let's see if it can turn the propeller. Yep, it really didn't turn it a little bit, even a bit so we are just like is this water not strong enough but anyways we are going to be creating our own propeller which is going to be very perfect to allow any water to turn it yeah like this propeller maybe is not really designed for this hydroelectric something is actually designed for to produce breeze out of it to blow air and it's right actually not really 
design for this waterfall stuff so we are going to be creating our own diy propellers it is very simple we are going to be using some container covers to create it we are just going to be making it very simple firstly you just take uh we're going to be using approximately maybe seven covers or eight covers to make it possible it's very simple to build firstly you're just going to be taking two covers put it side by side you glue it to the hot glue gum then when it's placed properly you can just gum the remaining five covers at the side of the uh, of the two base which you actually gum side by side creating uh, like a propeller like shape for it to be like a propeller so that water can flow into the these are uh, covers and actually create a good rotational movement which is going to be turning the motor and uh, actually creates electricity for us it is very simple check it out turn it out with this propeller and let's see how it's going to turn out i'm really uh yeah maybe this propeller will work let's uh, test it out with a pump or uh, water and uh, let's see if it can be able to turn the motor and let's see if we can be able to get any voltage from it we got a turning motion which is uh, good and uh, but we don't have any output voltage but not lighting up so. wow i was right when i said the first propeller was not actually created for this kind of job so our propeller just did the job very nice even with the kind of low pressure waterfall so if we had a lot stronger waterfall it's gonna be so fast yeah Anyways, we are done creating a propeller. We are going to just to go to bit, go into the main detail of how this actually works. And yeah, we are just going to be, we are going into the interesting path. So you do all to smash the like button, subscribe. We really need to get to 500 subscribers before the end of this month. And that is my goal. Join my goal and please, please, please subscribe. And also, you know what to do. Like the video. Let's jump right in and uh wait a second i know you're gonna be asking me what is the use of this basin uh, around it i know it's really important i actually set it up inside here for us to be able to store water those water which is going to be splashing around we're going to be storing so that it's going to be kind of wasting around it's going to be storing into this basin that we can put it back in the into the drum so that it won't waste yeah we i said it before we don't have a pump that's going to be sucking the water back to the drum so we just uh uh, maybe put it on a basin because when I check videos online, I saw people just making a DIY pump But actually this 100 liters is actually big so that pump is not really gonna work So yeah, we just need to store the water when the drum is empty. We will fill it back and Okay, setting up everything the, everything is set up perfectly and nice. Let's see if we can get some current out of it uh, Let's open the valve Okay 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 we we are not able to create any electricity out of it it's not basically that the motor is not actually creating electricity but maybe not enough just to turn on the 1.5 volt led so we need more speed uh we need to turn the motor very fast like we need the motor to turn fast enough to create electricity for us just as when we power it and it rotates for us so to make that possible we need to increase the torque of the water and also the pressure of the water and we can solve that by reducing or increasing the height of the waterfall and maybe increasing the size of where the water is coming out from so that the waterfall is going to be stronger the pressure is going to be stronger and uh, there will be much gravity on it pulling it down to create more pressure let's get to that and, to, and actually to do that i have to unscrew this uh, side of the pump right here i have to remove it like turn it like turn it like this to remove it and yep it's really gonna uh, be pouring out so i have to be ready when i'm removing the pump head so let's get to it okay let's see in three two okay let's see in three two one I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm freezing chat go oh my god you can see the lead you can see it you can see it yeah oh my god this is so bad 
Yeah. It's working. Damn. Wow. Wow. We got an output. This is so fast. Like this is a success. I really didn't expect an energy out of this. But wow, this is actually works. In. This actually works pretty fine. Let's quickly go ahead testing other things and see if it works out. Okay, right now I have everything set up. This is actually the last practical and uh, actually the last experiment. I have everything set up. The fan is connected to this motor. I put some kind of paper on it so uh, I will notice when it's actually turning. It's actually one part of a drone, but it's actually done me. So I'm using the motor to see if it can be able to power this motor. And uh, yeah, so everything is set. Let's test it out and let's see how it works. And boom. Wow. You can see it. It's actually turning the motor. I don't know if you can see it. Yep. It's actually turning the motor. You can see it's actually turning the motor. You can see it right there. You can see it actually works pretty fine. It actually turned the motor and uh, everything works pretty fine. We generated electricity from this motor experimenting hydroelectric. Yeah, this is really, really uh, an amazing project, an amazing experiment. I really appreciate it and I really put a lot of pressure to make it work perfectly. And big shout out to Max, Max Imagination for giving us this great idea of creating this kind of videos. You can go check out his channel post electronic tutorials too but it's based on models and yeah also DIY project but yeah check it out link in the description and yeah I hope you really enjoyed this video and if so don't forget to hit the like button let's get to 100 likes on this video and also subscribe to my channel check out my patreon to support my channel I really really need to get a lot of stuff to create more videos so you can go ahead check out my channel at patreon.com and support with anything you can as low as one dollar thank you very much for doing that i really appreciate you and thank you very much for staying to the ending of this video yeah it really meant a lot to me and i will see you in the next one peace